Alrighty folks, got my chainsaw and I'm gonna go up to the woods. I have a trail that the deer usually go down and there's a small tree that's kind of fallen over and I just want to clear that out. So that way it doesn't discourage the deer any to go through there. Which I don't think it does, but I kind of like to keep that path cleared. Um, I've mowed it in the past. Um, I think right now I don't have to mow it because the deer kept it open pretty good. So I'm just going to go cut the tree and pull it out of the way. So we're going to do that and then we're going to check uh, my trail camera and see what's on there. short work of that but anyways I'm trying to talk really quiet because I don't want too much human voice back here but anyways cleared it up so now I'm gonna change my trail camera cord get the old one out put in a fresh one and it looks like Something was here last night eating my corn and mineral stuff. So, yeah. So this guy, I'm going to say he's probably, oh, it's hard to say if he's a three, he's at least a three year old, three and a half, whatever. But I mean, he's got a decent sized body, excuse me, anyways, he might be a two and a half, but I mean, with the way his his belly is and his back, you know, if his head was straight up, it would be easier to tell, but his uh, brisket comes out and there's a dip in there still. Like it would almost meet, but there's still enough of a dip in there that I'm going to say he's a three and a half, but he's probably not that big but you know he does look pretty decent it looks like one that I've seen out in the uh, field across the road from my house he's only a seven point but I'd I'd take him if he's on my land I'll take him um, you know I don't have that many chances but anything that big and 
and bigger is, is gonna go. So, <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. First buck of the year, actually. Last year I had multiple bucks on my trail camera, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Looks like he came in from the direction that they normally do, and it was 5.13 there. So he came in around 5.13 in the morning. Didn't spend very much time because I only had salt down. So he probably went grazing and ate some grass. But I have corn now, so if he comes back, he's going to keep coming back. Okay, folks. Got my deer feeder. And we're going to see, we're going to put it together, see how it looks. It's a 30 gallon. So, <laughs> it's actually a little bigger than I thought it was. But that's totally fine. I'm going to stack it. said it's a 30 gallon. So, <laughs> it's pretty big actually. I'm glad because I can put about... Oh, three to four bags of corn in there, and that's gonna last me <laughs> a long time. <laughs> so, you know, I can mix minerals in there too if I want. Probably won't, but anyways, I'm gonna finish putting this thing together and drag it in the yard and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> Fingers crossed, and we'll find out why. 
by 7 o'clock and some, some kid's gonna come by. First deer is gonna be, if it's brown, it's down. We're here to take the meat. want to just shoot whatever comes along, but I haven't hunted for so long that some deer meat would taste mighty fine right now, and I'm to the point where I'll probably shoot whatever, but I still like to, you know, if they're like a year and a half or something, I'll let them go, you know, see what, I'll just let them go. 
a young doe or a button buck. They might be looking to the down ground. Brown. It's going to be a battle. Because I really want them to hear me. And I'm pretty much hunting for me right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well folks, that happened really fast. I'm out of the tree and you can see the little white spot laying behind me right there. It's a pretty decent one. It's not huge, but I'm stoked. <laughs> um, just got permission from the landowner to go over there and get it. So we're gonna, we're gonna head over there and get it. You gonna quick go get a coat? Yeah. So, came from up there, ran across, tumbled, took a tumble, and right there's blood. And it's laying right up there. I'm just gonna pause the video till we get there. There it is. What taking is it really? It's actually almost bigger than I thought it would be. Is it so long? No, I think it. I'm a joke. I think he's a goner. Wow. He won. Yeah. What the frick? But no heart. No heartbeat. He's not terribly big. But he's <laughs> he's what I was after. On my own land. Nice That's little nice. what is it? Eight point? Yeah. Yeah. Right from over there. <laughs> he kind of took a long run. Yeah, but at least he didn't get lost. He's here, can you hold the camera? Uh -huh. You want to take a video here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, got him in the garage, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly hang my thingamabobber up since I haven't hung them up yet. But my pulley system. <laughs> next next year, this one would have been a, a nice little doozy. But I'm pretty tickled to take him. <laughs> Yipper! By the way, I just wanted to add that I did check this buck in so <laughs> it's all legal but yeah it was crazy how I mean he ran right down beside the house and just jumped the road and you can see you could see his marks where he literally went I could see him from my tree stand just boom right over the road and smack into the other side and somehow he made it up on the hill before he keeled over but I hit him pretty high, as you can tell right here. But I'm thinking I got both lungs still because you know I was shooting at a high angle. But I aimed for him right here, but um, he was so close <laughs> that I had my crossbow set for like 20 or 50. Well, I think it was like 15 yards, but he was so close that I still shot him, still got him pretty high, and I don't think that he ducked. So, but I could always go back and check. But yeah, still got him both lungs, and tell you what, he ran far before he keeled over. <laughs> Crazy stories, I'm telling you. My helper tonight. <laughs> Yipper. We're gonna get him loaded on here, or we got him loaded on here already, and take him up to the barn and. I honestly should have had that hung up already, but since I don't, we're going to do it now because we're forced to, so. <laughs> cool stuff. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And for the, all the new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It's going to be Black Friday coming up here, and I want to be able to, you know, do a pretty good discount on my merchandise. Um or merch, whatever you want to call it, you know, such as hats, hoodies, um, t-shirts and, uh, coffee cups, water glass, you know, water cups with straws, whatever, you know, I got all that on there. If you're a big fan and you really want something like that, <laughs> now will be the time to get it. Cause it'll be on a pretty good discount. And then as far as the items that I make and put on my website, you know, the things I built personally, and I'm, I stock them you know, personally, and I have them on my website. Those items are, um, 
I'll have a, a whole separate sale on those and I'll probably be able to discount those a lot more. So with all that being said, and before I go, um, here's the Bucks antlers. I do have them at a tax or I'm going to get a shoulder mount at a taxidermist um, local here. And I was able to go pick the antlers up um, to get him scored. But anyways, I can't wait to get him back. Um, you know, this obviously isn't what hunting is all about. So I got a lot of meat from this deer and I'm very thankful and, and blessed to be able to uh, harvest a deer of this, you know, this size and um, that all the meat that it provided. I mean, it literally filled my freezer all the way up, provided a lot of food for us. And I'm going to have another video coming up sometime of when I'm processing the meat and some of the stuff I do. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, peace out, guys.